Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how to hold your Dizu. When you hold your Dizu, you want to have stability and also flexibility to move your fingers and make sure the flute doesn't wobble. So when I hold it, the way that I hold is uh, I use my left thumb right under the membrane hole, put it right there for stability. And then my left three fingers, my index, my middle and my ring finger covering these three holes and my thumb just resting on this for stability the same thing for the left the same thing for the right hand so the right hand the way I put it is right under the the third hole and then my these three fingers are the same way and then I have my um, right pinky resting on this to help support the balance so when you put them together like this and then you let, let, let go of all your finger it doesn't wobble that much and also remember when you play you'll be putting it against your lips so that also act as, as a point of support too but of course you don't want to press too hard on your lips because otherwise that uh, that's going to limit the sounds coming out so the way I hold it is like this but some other people the other way they hold it is they use their um, they use their thumb right right under the index finger so what I mean is that they put their thumb right here so let me see yeah so put their thumb right here and like this and then this, you act as a grip so you can hold it with one hand. And for the other right hand, you also do the same. You just grab it right here. So that's another way you can hold it. Uh, I usually um, I usually don't use this way because when I started, I started with the other way. So if, if I do this right now, it uh, feels yeah, it feels weird for me. So But then uh, there's always option for you to try out this, these two ways. And the way that you know how to hold it correctly is when you put press against your lips. You basically let go all your finger and that doesn't wobble. Uh, right now I'm talking, that's why it's wobbling. But yeah, let me demonstrate. So when you do that, that means it doesn't move or anywhere. And you, you can start tapping your fingers to test out like a different movement. Yeah, and then when you can move all your fingers flex flexibly without any uh, wobbling on your uh, on your flute, then you know it's good. And uh, it's to take a little bit of practice when you hold it because uh, I I haven't played um, a wind instrument before, so learning how to hold it will actually quite a bit uh quite a bit of work for me trying to find the right place to put my um to put my fingers and to put my um my lips against is a little bit challenging at first. And when you hold it where your lips are so everyone have a little bit of um, the middle of the lips right here you want the middle of that part lining up against the the blowing hole so so basically what you do you put the hole right here you put it, push it against your lips when you like and with the top lip you can feel you can feel the hole you start rolling it out 45 degree Okay, and then when you talk or when you blow in the nose, they will make some sound. Right now, you can hear a little bit of like uh, some noise because my breath is coming in. Yeah, thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video.